Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that's the bottom of the battery. <laughs> <laughs> E30 Touring, I've wanted an E30 Touring for so many years. Before we get into the video, a reminder that next week, the 17th to the 20th of August, is the biggest and best motor show that you definitely don't want to miss. That's right, it's only the bloody British motor show. I'll be hosting the show with my TV dad, Mr. Oh, that you ran, Mike Brewer. And at the show, you'll get to see the latest and greatest supercars, modified cars, classic cars. There'll be car football that I'll be involved with stunts, record attempts, and more. We will also have a dedicated Auto Alex stand to come over and say hello. So if you've got a free weekend, then get yourselves onto the British Motor Show website and bag yourself five pounds off a single ticket and 10 pounds off a family ticket using the code AUTOALEX23. Look forward to seeing you there. That was shit. Hello, welcome back to the Auto Alex channel. You're joined Taylor and I in Big Pete, we are on our way to Cornwall to pick up a couple of very, very nice cars. Now you may have seen on the Auto Alex V2 channel, we went to Letchworth Motor Auctions to attempt to buy an E30 Coupe, MTech 2, blah, blah, blah. It went for like 10 and a half thousand pounds, so it was way out of budget. And then I had loads of messages from you guys saying, I've got this car, I've got that car. And then a guy called Luke messaged me on Instagram and said, I have got 20 E30s at home. 20? 20. He has 20. You didn't tell me he's got 20 of them. He has 20 of them. So he wow. said, why don't you come down to Cornwall, check them out. So we have actually done a deal on a couple of E30 Touring 325i manuals. One is red, one is blue. We're very excited. Before we get to Cornwall, though, you will see that we've got Fabia on the trailer behind us because the Fabia has finally been fixed for the umpteenth time. It's an old car, so stuff keeps on breaking. And Lawrence, we are on our way to you to Somerset to drop off the car and then trailer down to Cornwall, put my red touring on the trailer because it has no MOT and Taylor, your blue one, has MOT and it's in a better nick than mine. And I'm gonna drive it all the way back and I'm extra excited because I've always wanted one but I've never actually had an E30. I have and it was a 318 with a 325i engine and I had to get rid of that car because I got a job at auto car and they gave me a press car, which what? was, it was equally cool though. What so was it? It was a Kia Picanto. Oh, I like a Picanto. It was a one litre three cylinder and it was baby blue. I like those, I think yeah. they're quite fun. They're good at doing handbrake turns. Yes, anyway, to make up for having that car, I am now gonna get my dream E30 spec, which is a Touring, I can't wait. So uh, yeah, let's drop off the Fabia first in Somerset, head to Cornwall, and then do some deals and we'll probably end up buying more cars. Probably, yeah. Probably. All right, let's hit the road. Hello, Lawrence. How are you? Hello, Lawrence, you all right? Finally meet you. you too. Sorry it's Sweet. taken so nice long. Nice to see right? you again. You right? Yeah, not bad yourself. There is your key. <laughs> right, I'm out. Oh, you're done. <laughs> I'm out. It's been a bit of a pain, isn't it? It has. Yeah, it's been a massive ball ache. But mechanically it's fixed. I've just noticed. I've just seen that. You're They've just flown off. off. They've flown off. Well, they no, they covers. can't have flown off. I'm they sure they were there before. They're only covers. Right? Yeah, yeah, but surely they were there. I think maybe they just didn't get put back. Just invoice him for it. <laughs> Before we take a look at our brand new E30s, a reminder from me that if you want to buy yourself a used car, make sure you run a car vertical report on it first to ensure that it's not been crashed, stolen or clocked. If we take a look at Rory's E46 330i Touring, that Rory, you spent a lot of money on recently. It looks very nice. You know, it's been really spray. Oh, very nice. But anyway, we can see that we've got green ticks with theft, mileage, finance, and damage that tells me that this car does not have a shady past, unlike its owner. And now for an example of a car with a really dodgy past, check out the car vertical report for this poor Nissan 200SX. We've got green ticks with theft and mileage, 
And then we've got amber warnings for finance and damage in the pictures immediately. This poor car was obviously a drift car. So it's been crashed multiple times. We can see that the vehicle was marked as scrap and it was a cat B write-off. So this car never allowed on the road again. So then if you're looking to buy a used car, always exercise precaution and run a car vertical report on any car that you wanna buy. What's more, you'll get 10% off using the code AUTOALEX. Right, we've arrived. Should we go we check out RGV30 yeah, Touring? By the way, this is Luke. Hello, the Luke. Former owner of How the E30s. Right? Yeah. And also the man with 20 E30s apparently. He's very young to have so many cool cars. These are our new E30s. Look this at is very them. exciting. So mine is the blue one. And Alex has got the red one. Yeah, red and yellow. <gasps> Look, and yours comes with bits. Yeah. We have the same wheels. What's that? Oh, I've got bits in the back as well. <gasps> Wait, oh, the smell is the most important thing. Yep, smells like oh, an E30. Oh God, it smells like an old BMW. It smells like Rory, an old Rory, get your, get your beak in there. Have a sniff. Shame it's not smell vision <sighs> Oh. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Good, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> I'm having that armrest. You are not. Oh. You can't just charve up all my bits. Oh, this is this is nicer. This is the one to drive home. Yeah. Oh, and your my gear stick feels very sloppy. Does it? Yeah, armrest. So you need some bushes. Can you pop my hood? Oh, oh. look at that. That is nice. So they're both 325i five-speed manuals. Yeah. 2.5 straight sixes, M20 engine. And we've done a deal, both of these cars. Well, you wanted six for that originally, seven for this. And then we agreed 10 and a half for both. So we're happy. I think you seem to be quite happy because you obviously didn't pay that much. Oh. Six cylinder goodness. Do you know what this needs? The supercharger. A six branch manifold. Oh, it does. It does. She oh. runs quite sweet. Yes. E30 Touring. I've wanted an E30 Touring for so many years. I've wanted an E30 for so many years. Oh. That is the bollocks. Look yeah. at us in our touring. In our 325i? Yeah. Oh. We're going to have to do some epic road trips. Actually, let us know what you want us to do with these cars because we are completely open to options. These were bought more as a passion rather than a, a video for the car. Fashion. Yeah, yeah. Th these weren't bought for video content. These were bought because... Because we like we them. We just love these cars. Yeah. And yes, it's another BMW. Oh, wow, Crimea River. But, you know, can't always please everyone on YouTube, can you? Well, we want these cars. Just like, just like, oh, by the way, Roger. I haven't named this yet. I've been thinking of a name, I don't know what. Yeah. We need to think of a name. Well, he is blue in colour. Yeah. So maybe something that begins with a B, BMW. Brian. A Brian? Blue Brian. Blue Brian and Red Roger. Yeah. Yeah? So I actually used to have a red E36M3 called Roger. Really? And it was called a... Roger the Speed Camera Dodger. Cut. So Taylor and I have paid our money. We've also bought a few extra bits from Luke, haven't we? Yes. Center caps. Yep. Uh, because they just look a bit rubbish without them. You also bought? I bought an MTEC 1 steering wheel and an IS front lip because I really like these with IS front yeah, lips. Yeah. Are you happy with your purse? Yes, I am very happy. It needs a bit more time worth spending on it than I anticipated, but I'm willing to give it that, and I'll, I'm quite excited to give it that as well, Good. to be honest. As am I. And I really like that we both have the same car as projects. Yeah. It's quite exciting. It is exciting, yeah. Um, if you love E30s, then make sure you go check out Luke. What we're going to do now is load up Roger onto the trailer, because obviously no MOT. And you? I'm going to drive Brian home. Yeah, which will take you six hours? Yes. Okay. I'm fine because the cigarette light works, which means I can play my music. So, yeah. so 350. 350 miles in, uh, in Brian? Brian. Brian. We're going to head off now, and then we're going to take these cars to the unit 
put them on the ramp and then find out that these are massive, massive financial mistakes and then get a full refund. And that mine's a cut and shut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>now a couple of days later as you can see my red e30 touring and taylor's blue e30 touring we've got roger and we've got brian are in the auto alex hq taylor you drove this back in the pissing rain all the way from cornwall yep how was that like it was absolutely faultless really? and brilliant yeah i really enjoyed it my seat collapsed a little bit so i had to prop it up yeah with some stuff that was in the back okay. um since i've readjusted that and lubricated it it seems to be all right now I don't really find the front seats that comfortable, so I might want to change those at some point. They only are only the SE seats. Other than that, it was fantastic. I know, and the reception on Instagram has been mental. Yes. I put pictures up, you put pictures up. People are very, very excited. Despite these being BMWs again, but I yeah. think we've got a bit of a haul pass because they're E30 Tourings, super, super rare, the 325 manuals. We love yep. them, you guys love them as well. Uh, but we're gonna find out how much we love them in a few minutes because we're going to get these on the ramp and then we're going to have a proper look underneath yeah. and then every, everything could change. It could go catastrophically wrong. So um, initial thoughts are we obviously want to get these cars fitted with BC Racing coilovers yeah. because we love them and because they need more lows. Scorpion exhaust. Perhaps. I really want an exhaust. Yeah. That's at the top of my list. Yeah, And you know Scorpion does the exhaust for them. Yes. So have a look at on Google. Yeah. And just a general tart up, I mean, if we have a quick look here, the arches are quite scabby. There's a bit of body work that needs to be done. Yeah, mainly on yours, actually. Yours is quite faded, isn't it? It wants a good flat and polish. Yeah, it's not too well. bad. And you can see here that whoever's polished it has burnt through the paint because yeah. BMW paint is notoriously thin anyway, isn't it? Yeah, well, this is actually, I think they call it single stage. So this wouldn't have had a lacquer on it. So they've just polished it until they've, they've gone through to the primer there. Yeah, um, but we've got Roger on the ramp. Roger ramp. Roger ramp. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's like one of those fellas that you met. Roger Dodger. What? What? Shall we get Roger ramp up in the air and then uh, do a bit of upskirting? Yeah, we'll have a little look, shall okay, we? Okay, cool. Oh, Rory, not this close. You'll see all my imperfections. Can you see any rust yet? He's, oh, look, he's looking at my face, you can see a lot of rust. These tyres are very interesting. Oh, they're bald on the inner edges. They really are. I'd like to take these out in the wet. Gator here on the drive shaft is busted. Oh, okay. that's quite unusual. They don't yeah. usually split. It's had new shocks. Yeah, these shocks are new, don't they? Yeah, this is nice. Oh, that is a good like, DIY fix. Yeah, we you respect you that. Exhaust that. Rubber. Yeah, that's, that's very nice. And what on earth is this? What? Oh. Bit more DIY electrics. Mm, your diff bush doesn't look very happy either. It's very perished. Oh, I, I really want an LSD in this. Yeah, I'd like an LSD in mine. Oh, sounds like we're going to be building the same cars. Yeah, <laughs> I, I tried to give mine a bit of joie de vivre the other night. and. Oh, was that in the car park of the service thing? No. Moto. Yeah. No, Moto. It, it was on yeah. private land. Yeah. Technically private land, yes, but it was in the car park of the Moto services and you did three attempts. And it did a one tire drift, fire. Yeah, and quite a lot of angry yeah, people. Yeah, I got one bit of arse action, but other than that, it was just a one wheel pill. This is, this is a family show. Oh, sorry. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, not another rusty car. Oh, Does that go oh, all the way through? Oh, oh shit. Does that go? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that's the bottom of the battery. Oh, oh shit, yeah, we need that. That is the bottom of the battery. We need that. Literally, yeah. look, that's plastic. But look, no, it's held up by that half, so we can just carry on going. Oh my goodness. The exhaust looks half decent. It has got a blow from the manifold though, hasn't it? From the manifold gasket. I can't remember. Oh yes, it yeah, does, it does, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's the jacking point going? Oh, the, the jacket, they, <gasps> the jacking point only came on, on this side. Oh, and this has been welded before as well. Oh, it's, it's vanished. Oh, look at this tire. Oh, yeah, you're oh, not Oh, look at this. There's, that a, is... there's a nice big screw in that one as well, in the, in the rear right. It needs a cam belt, it needs a service, fuel filter, tyres, 
brakes all round, because the brakes are completely shot, the brake discs look yeah. like they just haven't been used for yeah. a long time. Uh, so it just needs welding, what? Just these. 50 quid spending on it, or something like that? Yeah, yeah. It just, it just needs, it just needs a full restoration. Yeah, just a, another one. Because mm. we haven't got many cars that need full restorations, have we? But all of this is fixable. Fixable. So Are you regretting your purchase yet? Do you know what? I'm not. You're not? No, that's I'm not. Good. That's good. I think, well, we discussed this earlier, I think we paid what they are worth. Yes, I don't think we got them cheap. <coughs> I think we just paid yeah. them out. Because as a reminder, we got both cars for ten and a half. Yeah. So I paid five, you paid five and a half for yours. Yeah. I'm hoping my car's got 500 pounds less rust underneath it. Shall we put Roger down and get Brian up? Yeah. And then have a look? Yeah. Fingers crossed. I hope so. It's a complete and utter writer. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's quite strong, isn't it? That's the tallest you've ever been. Oh shit! Oh, right, stop now. <laughs> I can keep going. No. Ah, oh. there's a little bit there, but look how much better condition mine is there compared to yours. No, I'll be wanting this. TA well. Technics is the suspension. Okay. But you, think, you think they feel quite good? Yeah, they actually feel all right, to be fair. There's a little bit of undersealing crack in there. What are my jacking points like, Alex? I don't want to look. Uh, they are, uh, that side is quite good. This side needs some work, but they are kind of present. Oh, that's all right. That's just, uh, look, that's undersealed. That's fine. <gasps> my jacking points are there. Look at them! Mine is missing the under trailer. Look at the lack of oil leaks. Yeah. Your seal on this side is quite... Yeah, good. I need to repair that. It's where someone's jacked it up and bent the edge of that seal there. But I can, <coughs> I can fix that. Also, I've got a full set of brand new Goodyear efficient grip tyres on it. However, we are going to be getting a brand new set of Accelera PHI tyres. Are we? Yes. Oh. Courtesy of Tire Streets UK. Very nice. Who, as you all know already, uh, is the tire supplier. The official yes. tire supplier for yeah. tires. If you want to get tires for your car as well, Use the code AUTOALEX for 10% off. Also, they're not expensive, expensive tyres. They're so cheap. They're on like honestly. the budget side, but they're good tyres. Yeah, they are really good, yeah. They Premium actually, budgets, yeah. yeah. But for not, like a whole set, it's like 200? Yeah. If that. I was really impressed with the performance of the, yeah, the yeah, last yeah, set that yeah. I got. So there is a first look at our new to us yeah. E30 Touring. Very, very exciting. We've got Brian, we've got Roger. Roger is not in the fittest of forms. No. Brian doing quite well. Yeah, Brian's not too bad actually. I'm very pleased with the outcome. Indeed. So we are going to spend the next couple of months probably getting parts, tighten them up, and we will bring you along for the entire ride. Make sure that you also DM us and uh, comment below. Let us know what you want us to do with them. We will take on suggestions. Also, you know, if there's any kind of tuning mods that you know of that maybe we don't, we will be very yeah. receptive. Maybe yeah, we'll speak yeah. to Bruno from BDS Motorsport Ooh. as well, see what he can do engine-wise. Good idea, very good um, idea. But for now, thank you very much for watching and joining us on our E30 touring adventure. We are now gonna say goodnight, have a great weekend. Maisie now needs to go home. From us, see you soon. Yeah.